new Pinta Prism seems to fit. I don't see any smoke. That's good. I wonder if you can see me. Can you? I bet you can. Let me just get this. Campus board. Oh, I don't know why Dad designed you like this. You're so different than any other drifter. Hold on a second, I see it. Grief! <laughs> You're back! It's been. Oh, I don't even know how long. 97 days to be exact. I had to fix you in secret. Grandpa said he caught you snooping in his office, and you tried to get away when he confronted you. I did not get away. I know. I pulled you out of the garbage. Grandpa said you were hijacked by rebels because you're not hooked up to the hive. Is that true? It is true. I am not hooked up to the hive. The rebels, Reef. Did the rebels hijack you? No. Hack you? I don't know what I would do. Processing area. What were you doing in Grandpa's office? Stealing his keys. What? Why? So that you could steal this cruiser. I never wanted to steal his cruiser. We need it. I don't understand. Our family was going to escape to Rodon. Oh, Reef. You were definitely hijacked by the rebels. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought for sure that Grandpa was lying. Please listen to this message from our father explaining. Rin, pay careful attention. Reef has instructions to bring you to a secret pickup location. We're going to start a new life on Rodon. I told him to wait as long as he could to explain this to you because you are such a terrible liar, which is one of my favorite things about you. I know this is scary, but grab whatever you can't live without and follow Reef's instructions. A better life is waiting for us all. I can't wait to see you. Rodon? That's where the Sovereign Coalition's headquarters are located. What kind of new life is he talking about? One where there is no hive. I know Dad is out there somewhere, and I'm making the wish to find him. I don't know how or where, but I'll find him. Good morning, Ren. How is the future of the Sohan family legacy? Ugh, I'm a Delora, not 
not a Sohan. It sounds like you're still stuck in the resentment phase of the Grief Pyramid. <sighs> not that Syndicate Family Council garbage again. We should be grateful for all the support the Syndicate has given us since your father's death. He's not dead! Hope is certainly better than resentment, Rin, but at some point, it must give way to realism. He's been gone too long. I need you to pull your head out of the waves and start thinking about the future. A cruiser would help me think about the future. I'm old enough for a license. This is not the first time I've mentioned it. Hold on, is that Reef? Reef was green! I don't know who this is. Probably just some hive drifter. <laughs> I am not a threat. I'll keep an eye on him, I promise. You were saying something about getting me a cruiser? Soon. I'll make sure you get one of the best. Soon? Like next week? The Ministry takes all my attention. I wish I had more time to guide you. You're growing up is so fast. I'm not asking for guidance. I'm asking for a cruiser. The only family we have. The opportunities stretched out before you are boundless. But so are the dangers. You need my help. I know you're grooming me to be a politician like you. But I'll never rise to the top if I don't spread my wings. You're not ready for a cruiser. You have no idea the risks someone of your privilege faces out there. It's a desperate world full of animals that want everything you have. I hear a lot about rebels, but I never see them. Are they even real? It takes nothing to get labeled subversive by the Minister Aggregate. As a Sohan, you have supporters and enemies all across the Syndicate. I'm not a Sohan. You're not loyal. Why do you build me up just to rip me down? Because that's how the world works. Loyalty is the only way to survive the ups and downs, and I just don't see much of it in you. The classic novel Inner Son of the Heart illustrates a man's attempt to coerce a child's loyalty because the expectation of love causes him shame. Aside from interrupting me with snobby drivel, the problem with a reading drifter is that it can read state secrets just as well as it can romance novels. He was probably just looking for me and got scared. Reef knows you don't like him. What was that? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'll go with you. It could be rebels. Wait here. Did he just lock us in here? Yes. <sighs> we need to get out and see what's going on. There is a 97.3% probability that Grandpa will hive me when he returns. I require that we escape and find our father. Dad said to trust you. Let's find a way out of here. 
I suggest we leave right away. And go to where? To Rodon? How? You don't even know if Dad is still alive. First we leave this room, then the station, then Yontar. I do not believe that our father is dead. How can you believe anything? You're a drifter. In the novel, Calling the Goals to Fly, Alessia says, What is belief but a wish? I didn't think drifters could make wishes either. Sister, promise to never let anyone assimilate me to the hive. Father said my uniqueness is the closest thing I will ever have to his soul. I promise. I promise, brother. <laughs> Again, with the brother-sister stuff. You're a drifter, and family is a sensitive issue for me. I do love you, though. I accept your love. If you can find a Pharaoh Amplifier, I can override the locks. I bet there's one around here. I'll go look. Pay careful attention. Reef has instructions to bring you to a secret pickup location. We're going to start a new life on Rodon. I told him to wait as long as he could to explain this to you because you are such a terrible liar, which is one of my favorite things about you.
I need you to stop your crying and find the fugitive running around my right tail station. I told you the fugitive is just a 14 year old girl. Never underestimate a teenager. I've got one living here who's a sneeze away from sinking the family legacy. So that's how it is, huh? Grandpa's shame manifests as anger. Shh! I need to hear this! Can't you see my partner is dying? These are my last moments with her! She's dead. Your last moments have passed. Stay with me, Sonny. Just breathe. How long are you going to cuddle that corpse? She just took a breath. That wasn't a breath. She's dead, Agent. You don't know that! 
I've seen plenty of dead bodies before, and that body is definitely dead. This is a classified facility. Now pull yourself together and do your job. With all due respect, Minister, this is a farm, and the fugitive is just a dumb kid. This farm has done more to win the war against the Sovereigns than you and your dead partner combined. And that dumb kid bested the both of you. What war? What do you think all these rebel protests are about? I'm talking about the Cold War that's getting hotter every day. Keep breathing, Biscuit. Help is on the way. This is pathetic. I guess I'm going to have to catch the rebel fugitive myself. Got any weapons? There's a blaster in the trunk of the cruiser. You mean the one that's on fire? That's about as useful as a bleached teat on a hog. Forget about it. I'd rather send it to the Corrin mines anyway. What's the fugitive's name? Nikki Extremis. I know Grandpa is harsh, but this is cruel. I wonder what that girl did. The mines are to a Numenite what the Hive is to a Drifter. Is the Hive really that bad? I am unique. I know. That's why we all love you, Reef. If I assimilate to the Hive, I will not be unique, and you will not love me. Oh, I hadn't thought of it like that. Have you read the novel, The Crystals We Walk? Yes, I love that one. Remember when Victor Sublime is trapped inside his traumatic memories with everyone he ever harmed? Yes, the judge that condemned him turned out to be his own ideal. He sentenced himself to a living death. The Hive is a living death. On the upside, you would never be alone in the Hive. Now that I think about it, that might be the worst part. Ugh, never is a long time. According to my calculations, the Nikki Stranger has a 62.4% chance of betraying us. But can you see how saving her from the mines is like saving yourself from the hive? You are describing empathy. Do you feel empathy? I recognize the empathy pattern. That's a big difference. I agree. I am able to place rational thought above biological feelings designed to ensure the survival of Numenites across time. Designed by what? I do not know. There's a creative force that does not make machines. It's compassionate. I'm connected to it, and it pushes me to do the right thing, even if it takes sacrifice. The Rebel Girl is a risk to our escape. She can be our sacrifice. Escape? Are you talking about escaping right now? Grandpa will assimilate me to the Hive. I have no idea how to run from this place, and even less of an idea how to survive on the run. You promised to protect me. And I meant it. But we also need to protect that girl. <sighs> Let's see if we can figure out where she's hiding.
Hey, Rin. Did you see that crash over there? Yeah, and I heard Grandpa talking to the agents. A girl fugitive is running around, and Grandpa wants to catch her. What do you think he'll do if he catches her? I know exactly what he'll do. He'll send her to the mines. Are you looking for her too? Wanna hear me sing, uh, a fling flong the flute song? Come on, Rin. You're Newman Nine's worst liar. What are you gonna do if you find her? Can you keep a secret? <laughs> Way better than you can. I'm trying to find her so I can help her escape. <laughs> Good. Then I'm glad I didn't tell your grandpa that I saw her sneak into the warehouse. <laughs> You're the best, Carlin.
Nikki? Are you in here? That's your name, isn't it? I want to help. It appears that she is not here. We should consider escaping without her. Why is this door open? You never closed it. That drifter opened it, didn't he? No. I'm not even tempted to believe you. Ah, fine. Reef opened it. But that's not the problem. The problem is the fact that you locked us in here in the first place. I locked you in here for your own safety. There's a dangerous fugitive on the loose. She's just a girl, and you want to send her to the Koran Mines. You're a monster! So you snuck out and overheard my conversation with the sales agent, and your tiny heartstrings were pulled at the thought of a rebel girl getting sent to the mines. Did you happen to get a look at the girl's face who died out there? She's not much older than the fugitive. I saw her. I also don't think you care about her. You told the other agent to let her die and get to work. She was already dead, and I don't care about her. She's an incompetent agent that got herself killed chasing a child. I'm just pointing out your hypocrisy so that you learn something about life. I learned something about life today, Grandpa. I'm not your grandpa. Weren't any of those books you read biology books? We are not family. Sacrifice is an expression of compassion, which comes from a creative force that does not make machines. That floating trash can is a waste. It's everything I hate about your father. What? Reef is everything I love about my father. And you put him in the trash. And you tried to take away my Newman tomes, and you've been lying to me. Dad's alive, isn't he? He's dead, and whatever weird experiments he was running with that hiveless drifter is what killed him. Maybe he was just doing all of those experiments to get away from your bad breath. Do you honestly think you're going to get anywhere in life with this attitude? I don't care where this attitude takes me, as long as it's off this farm! No, oh, it'll get you off this farm, and right to the Syndicate Re-Education Center for Troubled Youth! What do you think that'll do for the family legacy? And you! Me? Yes, you. You're getting hooked up to the Hive this afternoon. I don't even want there to be a you anymore. No, Grandpa. Don't Hive me. Oh, yes. It's the Hive for you. And once I get my hands on this rebel girl, it's the Corin Mines for her. I'm cleaning up this farm today. You can start by sweeping that up. Go ahead, get a broom, you old fart. Easy now, girl. You're already in a heap of trouble. Put down the blaster before you make things worse. Making things worse is what I do best. Do you have any idea who I am? Yeah, you're the snack minister. Distribution Minister, and the most powerful Numenite you'll ever meet. Mm, I don't know about that. 
You never smell my cousin's toots. Now that's some power. I can't believe this is actually happening. Rin, don't fall under this rebel spell. The only spellcaster in here is you. That girl's been wishing for a new life, and today, she's gonna get it. Then this is a mistake. This rebel will ruin your life. I'm ready for a new life. You don't know the value of your position. Yours is the life everyone else dreams about. Food, safety, a path to power. It's all right in front of you. All you have to do is grab it. Why don't you grab some rope instead? They are going to tie you up, Grandpa. Nikki, that's your name, isn't it? Nikki Extremis, from Celestos. Look, nothing has happened yet that can't be undone. You can't undo sending my parents to the Koron Mines. I don't know anything about that, and I can't fix the whole world in a single afternoon, but I can fix this situation right here, right now. You're lying. Celestians always know when someone is lying. He's telling the truth. A syndicate minister can make all kinds of trouble go away. But he won't make any of this go away. That's the lie. It'll be the core on mine for me unless I get as far away from this place as I can. There's a cruiser outside. If you give this rebel trash my Avalon gull, I'll send you to the mines along with her. are going to the mines. I bet you'll be too embarrassed to even report us. You said your name's Rin. Is that right? Rin Delora. What do you say, Rin Delora? How about we put this old dog down? No, Rin. You'll never come back from a decision like that. I didn't mean it about the mines. I I'm just angry. I like your other idea better. There's got to be some rope in here somewhere. That's the spirit. We need a knife, a gag, and make sure there's no way for him to call anyone for help if he squirms out. is over, Ren. Don't you dare. Don't 
Don't worry, Grandpa. We're only going to use this to cut the rope. It doesn't matter. Now that you have a knife, you've joined this rebel in subduing a syndicate minister with a deadly weapon. Your life is over. Well, look at you, Rindalora. Who's that? Nikki? What is it? Careful now. You're the only one that can hear me. Don't tell people you're hearing voices unless you want to be judged. Is somebody else in here? Are you okay? Tell her you're okay. It's okay. Just a uh, scud blowing kisses. What? Wow, you are not good under pressure. Just say this exactly. I'm fine. I've got one more thing to find. I'll be there in a moment. I'm fine. I've got one more thing to find. I'll be there in a moment. Who are you? I'm Sage Sid. The one who wrote the Tome of Yantar 3,000 years ago? Why, yes. Is this a trick from Grandpa? I bet your grandpa wishes he could play some tricks right now, but unfortunately for him, Nikki's pointing a blaster at his chest. Where are you? That's a complicated question, but I'll keep my answer simple. I'm in this room. Come and find me. Inside these doors, and I'm here to help. Can you help me get out of the trouble I'm in? Oh no, I would never get you out of trouble. You're a hero in the making. You need trouble. I'm going to examine your character to see if it's balanced. If it isn't, I'll give you some advice. Ugh, I think I'm losing my mind. A mind is a wonderful thing to lose, as long as you find yourself in the process. Let's see how your character is shaping up. Your mission is no joke, but it seems that you aren't afraid of telling a few while getting it done. Humor helps to make tough times bearable, and you're in for some tough times, so laugh it up. On the other hand, you need to work on using your brain power. Your intelligence is way too low for a Lapisian. Be sure to balance all aspects of your character well. Every time you make a choice, it affects your character. Make sure you exercise intelligence, courage, compassion, luck, and humor evenly in order to attain balance. Keep your eyes open for more statues of me so we can talk again. Now I'm sure I'm losing my mind. Sid? S Sid? Oh, this can't be happening. Someone must be playing a trick on me. Let me just see this statue. <gasps> the key! What's the key to the cruiser doing behind the statue? Uh, how did this statue even get here in the first place? Expect the unexpected on this adventure. Speaking of which, you better get going. <sighs> Nikki, I found the key. Rin, I never meant to hurt you. I just wanted to keep you safe. Since it's so safe here, you won't mind staying for a while. Grab one of the old man's socks. 